Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to share files between computers using a LAN based connection on your Windows 11 computer. This tutorial will apply for Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10 computers as well. So, pretty straightforward process, and let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So, all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in Control Panel. Best results should come back with Control Panel. Go ahead and open that up. Set your view by to category view, and then select network and internet. Select network and sharing center. And then on the left side, select change advanced sharing settings. Make sure to turn on network discovery and turn on file and printer sharing are both enabled here. And then select the save changes. So we go back underneath change advanced sharing settings. Expand all networks, so drop that down. And you want to make sure turn on sharing so anyone with network access can read and write files in the public folders. And then also make sure to use 128-bit encryption to help protect file sharing connections recommended is selected there. And if you want to scroll down, if you want to enable password protected sharing, you can, but generally I would recommend just turning that off. So as long as you have access to your network, they should be able to access this shared folder or files, whatever you're sharing on your, over your LAN-based connection. Go ahead and select Save Changes. Now I'm going to select Change Adapter Settings on the left side. And then I'm going to right-click on our current network device here. So it may be different in your case, and name of it will likely be different, but it shouldn't have a red X on it, meaning it's currently being used here. So go ahead and right-click on it and select Properties. You want to select Internet Protocol version 4 and then parentheses TCP slash IPv4. And go ahead and select the Properties button. Make sure obtain an IP address automatically and obtain DNS server address automatically are both selected there. And then you would select OK. And then select Close. Close out of here. And now you would just open up the file directory of whatever you wanted to share with another computer. So let's just open up this PC. Let's say this music folder we wanted to share here. You would right click on it and then select show more options. Select where it says give access to. And then you would select specific people. And then assuming your other computers were connected to the network in a similar fashion that you just did on this computer, you would see multiple users listed under here. And you just would right click on whatever user you wanted to add. You'd right click on whatever user account you want to add here. And then there'd be an option to either read, read slash write, or remove. You want to go ahead and check mark read slash write for that user account. And then you would select the share button. Again, you'd have to have a, another user account set up here, which I don't. But again, make sure your other computer is set up in a similar configuration that this one is. And you may also want to consider disabling sleep because shared items are not accessible when your computer is asleep. So if you actually open that up, there's a little hyperlink there if you click on it. So it'll tell you if there's issues with the text. And you can select where it says choose when the computer sleeps. And then you could just place the computer to sleep, check inside of here, and then set it to never, and then select save changes. So pretty straightforward process there, guys. And as always, thank you for watching. Do a buzz, it will help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.